Hi guys, Darren from Venom Fluid Art. Hopefully you've just watched the joy pouring with Cy Frost. If you missed it, I'll put a link in the description so you can go back and watch it at your leisure. Okay, so what I'm going to do today is go through some bits and pieces on Australian Flow Troll. So I'm going to be making a cell activator with it. Now, as far as Flow Troll goes, um, there are some really thin batches out there and there's some that are really good. I just happen to have here a brand new bottle of Australian Flow Troll, which is really thin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up with some old flow troll that I have. Okay, now that's a lot thicker. And we'll see what the difference is. Um, let's just start by doing that. So I'm going to be using Amsterdam. It is oxide black. Just because it's the first one I grabbed. Okay, so we'll put this to one side. What I'll do is get a couple of cups. Leave that over there. What I'll do is start with the old flow troll first, which is from March 2021. I usually date all my bottles. So, first thing you do with Australian flow troll, give it a really good shake. Make sure it's all mixed up because it does separate in the container over time. Unlike the American one, this doesn't have chunks and goobers and all sorts of things in it. So, to make things even, I'm going to use a teaspoon. So what we're going to do is put one teaspoon of that in. My ratios is usually four to one, three to one for swipes, things like that. Four to one very rarely, it's mainly three to one. So what we're going to do is go three of those. Especially with Amsterdam paint, if I'm using Atelier, sometimes it takes a little bit more. It's not too bad for swipes, having it thicker. Blooms, mm, I like it a little bit thinner for blooms. So we're going to go three to one with that. We'll grab our stirring stick and that, even though it looks thin, is sort of creamy. That's so a nice creamy consistency okay what I'll do is grab the new bottle give that a good shake too always make sure the lid's screwed on properly I actually shook one this morning and the lid wasn't screwed on and <laughs> it's everywhere so, we'll put three of these in. Now, just pouring this out, it is like water. So, we'll go two, three of those. So, this one here. You can see how thin that is. See how it drips at the end? Just that there is really, really thin. 
It's virtually like milk. Compared to the older one. Okay. Now, what we'll do is mix in some paint with that, which is the Amsterdam Oxide Black. So we'll put one of those in. Like so. And we'll put one in the other one. Same amount. Nice level scoop. If you put flow troll in this first, your paint falls out nice and easy. Alright, so we'll mix up the really thin one. Now both of these are at three to one. So give that a good mix in. Make sure there's no lumpy bits. That's the good thing about Amsterdam paint when you're mixing this stuff in. Oops, built some. It um, mixes in really, really easy. Whereas something like an Atelier, it's um, a lot harder to mix in. Alright, so that's a 3 to 1. Really, really thin. Do this other one, which is the old cell activator flow troll mix. Give that a good mix. Make sure there's no lumpy bits. Okay, so. Straight away, you can see that's a lot thicker. Leaves a little mound. Now both of those were mixed at exactly the same ratio, but the consistencies are totally different. Nice and thick, perfect for a bloom or swipe, no problem at all. Okay, compared to the other one, which just drips off, doesn't leave a mound at all, just flows straight into it. So if you're having problems with your cell sinking and all the lacing and stuff like that disappearing, that can be a problem too. It's too thin. Now, we've gone by ratios on this, and you've got two totally different consistencies. That's where, realistically, if you go by consistency you're a lot better off because even with the thin cell activator now you can still thicken that up by adding a little bit more paint so what I'm going to do is use this one here we'll mark them so that is our three to one thick Grab another 
lid. This one here is our three to one thin. And what I'll do is I'll mix up another one to the same sort of consistency as that with the thin stuff. And then we'll do a swipe just to show the difference between them all. So if I grab a cup, grab some thin flow troll again. Where is it? This one. We'll go three to one. So one, two, three. We'll grab one of these ink stamps. Give that a mix. All right, so that's the same as the other one where it's really thin. do is just get a little bit more Amsterdam maybe half a scoop more add that to it Okay, so that's thickened that up. To a point where it's starting to leave a mound. Pretty hard to see with the black, but... It definitely leaves a mound. So that's roughly the same consistency as our old flow troll. Put a lid on that one. So that's our three to one that we have modified by adding a little bit more paint to it to thicken it up. So what I'll do is go over to the spinner box now. We'll do a couple of swipes side by side with each other just so you can see the different results and whether the thin one that is like water still actually works. Okay, so I'll press pause here and I will be back in a moment. Okie dokie. So what I've got here is just an off cut of MDF. We'll do a quick drip test. So we can see what the consistency is like of each one. Let's move that to there. All right, so we'll put some thin down. Now that's the cell activator that is the thin one. We will put down the thick one, which was an old batch of Aussie flow troll that I had. Alright, so what you want to do is try and make your dots as even as possible in size. So that's the thick. And we'll go for the one that I modified by adding a little bit more paint to it. All 
Okay. So that's pretty close. See? Modified. So what we'll do is give that a bit of a tilt and see what happens. So the thin one is definitely quite thin. The other two are pretty much spot on with each other. So, what we'll do is grab a tile. I've already put some pillow paint on it, which is just British paint slow sheen. Same stuff I always use. Gonna pick four random colors. And we'll do a swipe with each one and see how they turn out. So, pink. We'll put them in the same order. It keeps the layering fair. Pebio violet blue. We'll go with Pebio green blue, blue green, no, blue green. Okay. And a Pebio green blue. I always get them two mixed up. So put the green on. Hit the camera. Nice job, Daz. All right. So what we'll do is use a little palette knife. Which is this little dude. Now I've taken the handle off just so I've got better movement with it. We'll start with the thin stuff. Okay, so. Put that on the knife. stuff okay put the same amount on each one just to keep it even so this is the thick Then the one we thickened up by adding a little bit more paint to it. Uh, 
Okay. So, with these, actually I'll bring the phone down, make it easier to see. So, there your cells with the thinner stuff, which was almost instantaneous. Then, that is the thicker stuff. And then that's the one we add a little bit more paint to just to thicken it up. So as you can see, even your really thin cell activator, uh, flow troll, still works. Okay, so we'll put that back in there. What we'll do is give this a bit of a spin. Screwed the pooch a bit by losing some off the side. Oops. Nice job, Daz. All right, hang on a sec. Go around this side. Okay. Even though it come off the side. Oops. That looks pretty cool still. But as that dries, if your cell activator is too thin, all them fine lacing bits will just keep sinking and sinking and disappear. So this one here is with what I usually use. And the one we thickened up with the bad flow troll still looks really good so what you have to remember with this one is that flow troll was from March 2021 it's now October 2022. So that's just an old batch of flow troll I had laying around. And, you know, it still works. Not quite as nice as the new flow troll, which was thin that we thickened up. But still works. And that one there, starting to sink a little bit now. The more you leave it, the more it'll sink. But, you know, still works. <clears throat> so, here's the conclusion. If you get a batch of Australian flow troll that is really thin and watery just add a little bit more paint to it thicken it up to a consistency where it works for you it might take you a couple of goes to get the consistency right if you haven't done this very much but just add little bits of paint at a time do a swipe little bits of time little bits of paint do another swipe and eventually you'll get the consistency that you need. So, 
don't freak out if you crack open a bottle of Aussie Flow Troll that you've just paid an arm and a leg for, especially if you're overseas, because all you need to do is just add that little bit more paint to thicken it up, and it's still going to work for you. At the end of the day, it's still Aussie Flow Troll. It works whether it's, you know, what's that? Uh, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. Nineteen months old, and still works. Compared to one I picked up last week, that is super thin. That's been thickened up. Still works. Now that. Uh, one there, that was with the really thin stuff, it's definitely starting to sink quite a bit, but as that dries it'll sink a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more and you will lose any lacing or cells that are in there. So, there you go. So if you're having problems with um, your lacing or cells disappearing, either your pillow paint is too thin, you might need to thicken that up a little bit, or your cell activator is too thin and it's just sinking right through everything. So it's definitely one to just have a little bit of a play with get used to what your consistency should be this is the best way to do it put a couple of colors down try three different consistencies swipe 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 leave it overnight and see which one you like the best for your three different consistencies some might like the lines thinner some might like the lines thicker entirely up to you but at least then you know what the consistency is to get those results. And once you've got it once, you can keep making it the same every time. It doesn't matter whether you get thin flow troll, thick flow troll, whatever. As long as you're going by a consistency, you can get the same results every time. Going by ratios will not help whatsoever. Because like you've seen, one was like water, one was a lot thicker at exactly the same ratios. So if you're going by ratios for everything, you're going to have these sorts of issues. You know, you'll see other artists that are saying, okay, I'm using two to one, three to one, four to one, whatever. If you use their exact same paints at their exact same ratios and your poorer medium's a little bit thinner, it's going to be out. If your Aussie Flow Troll is thinner, it's all going to be out. That's why you get so many inconsistent results by using exactly the same products at certain ratios because no brand is ever exactly the same. Even if you buy, you know, your pillow paint. They're all different consistencies in the cans, even if you're using the same brand. I use British Paints, and all the different sizes are all different consistencies. So you have to adjust for that. Um, my pouring medium. The last video that I did showed how I was having issues with the untended house paint. But if you go by consistency... It's a lot easier to get the same results every time rather than by ratios. So hopefully this video was really informative for you. If it was a help, click like, share and subscribe. Ring the notification bell. That way you get to see all my videos as I release them. Um, up next we have Christy from Creations by Christy. So I'll put her link in the live chat 
but also in the title of this video. You just click on her name, it'll take you directly to her YouTube page and you'll be able to find it there. Okay guys, you have a lot of fun, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.